you do a Google search for the phrase cheap watches, you can find timepieces that actually work for under $5. But at an event in Geneva, Switzerland, you need to have really deep, deep, deep pockets to buy some very special timepieces. Villa Marks takes us there. It's a status symbol like no other. A look at me that's, well, timeless. The nice thing about watches, it's the only item that you can collect and you can carry with you all day long. So even with a car, at the end of the day, you can drive it, but you have to park it and go upstairs. And those serious about watches come to Geneva in Switzerland, the home of watchmaking. Patek Philippe, the most prestigious manufacturer in the world, is a family-run business that's been making watches since 1851. A place where time really is money. So, how much money do I need to buy a watch on this floor? Prices range, I would say, uh, between 350,000 US dollars and until 1.3 million uh, US dollars. But those watches that you see on those windows, you can't buy them. First you order them and you have to wait probably between two and three years before getting them. Right. So you have to be very patient. Yeah, so when I first came here... Evan Zimmerman is a former New York lawyer who now runs Antiquorum, a Geneva-based auction house dealing exclusively in watches. He says collector's patience is being tested by investors who want to buy and sell rare watches to turn a profit. Manufacturers are certainly are, are not happy about it being used as investment, especially the modern watches. They don't want to see uh, dealers who buy their watches and turn around and sell them at a higher price uh, to people who uh, do not want to be on the waiting list, for example. And so for a few days each year, Geneva turns over its high-end hotels to the world of high-end timepieces. This auction is one of several here this week in Geneva where the world's top watch collectors have gathered to do battle with numbered paddles, with phone proxies, with online bids, all of them hoping to buy up one of 600 rare timepieces. Everything we've seen today has sold for thousands of dollars, very often tens of thousands of dollars and sometimes hundreds of thousands. At auction, collectors and investors go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, bidding big bucks on the biggest names. Claude Sfer is a jeweller from Lebanon. Together with his son, he'll be making the rounds at Geneva's auctions. Any piece I want to buy, I never stop. When I want to bid in any piece, I never stop because I studied the piece before, and uh, when I buy, I buy. But for the few who can afford a priceless timepiece or two, buying is not about the money. In fact, it's not always even about the watches. The exciting is to beat everybody, to break everybody. 407,000. With the competition broken, he won his prize for a mere $436,000. The auction raised just over $8 million in a single day, a small contribution to a global wristwatch market set to clear over $46 billion this year. But for the true collector, it's more about looking back than forward. Today, with uh, everybody having a phone and everybody having a phone that has the time in it, people still appreciate the, watch, uh, the fact that these watches are handmade and uh, take uh, an incredible amount of skill to create and an incredible amount of time to create. And I think people appreciate uh, the work and uh, that goes into the watches. Yes. Well, most people. What does your wife say when she finds out that you've spent this much money on a watch? She told one day to my father that he will sell the family and he buy watches. <laughs> I will sell, make no regrets. Any bidders? For CBS This Morning, Villa Marks, Geneva, Switzerland. So we now know the answer to the question, what's all the fuss about watches? Mm -hmm. It's not about the watch, it's about the ego. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. There's beautiful craftsmanship, yeah. but I, this is, here's the watch I wear. <laughs> <laughs> but, but here's a question, you can have a watch or you could have a house and a couple of cars. You know, exactly. it really is a matter of personal taste. Is there anything like watches that you were talking about, sunglasses? During the break. Yeah, I don't understand. You know, there's people have great fascination with watches and have more than one. I wear the same one every single day. Mm -hmm. What's, what does that mean? You're a simple good person. I'm frugal. <laughs> yeah. Which we know. Yeah.